I got a story that I think many of you might find interesting. It's about Swappy and their trading program. I really feel stupid now to have sent my SE2 to Swappy. So let's get right into it. So here is the deal. I decided to sell my SE2020. So I went to Swappy's website to get an estimate. My phone was in a pretty good condition no cracks, the touch ID and camera were working perfectly and the battery had a decent health of 85%. So I got an estimate of 100 euros. Seemed like a good deal, right? Well, not so fast. I knew my phone had some minor signs of wear, so I was willing to accept whatever, like 70, 80 euros for it. Anyways, I received the instructions from Swappy, scheduled a DHL pickup, got a barcode, printed it out and packed up my phone. The DHL guy came on time, so, so far so good. Alright, after sending my phone, the next day I received an email from Swappy and they lowballed their offer to 10 euros. Yup, you heard that right, a 90% drop of what they offered on their website. Jeez! <laughs> At that stage I thought it might be some kind of a joke because the reasons Swappy mentioned for the price adjustment were pretty crazy. They mentioned cracks, display issues, camera faults, battery problems, none of which applied to my phone. Anyways, I asked them to return my phone, which they did free of charge, so that part was alright, but still a big waste of my time. As you can see, the phone has no cracks, no display issues, the camera works flawlessly, and the battery sits at a healthy 85%. I can't help but think that they either didn't want my phone or wanted it for cheap. I don't know. I'm pretty sure they rely on people being too lazy to get their phones back and sell them elsewhere. So my advice is if you're selling with Swappy, don't count on their price given on their website because they will find a way to lower the price for sure. It seems they make reasonable offers, but they prey on people to panic and accept their lower price. Also, don't forget to take good photos before selling, because you know, DHL and anything can happen. So at the end of the day, I think it's always better to sell it locally, as you will make more money that way and it's even easier to sell it to a friend or a family member if you don't want to deal with strangers. All right, that's going to be it for this one. Don't forget to subscribe for more. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.